Good morning on it is Thursday. We're talking about fog and cool temperatures this morning. A lot of fall like feel and uh, in addition to that, that view fog oftentimes happens during those transitional seasons and we see it more in the fall and we're definitely getting it this morning. This is our lowered visibility view in a Fargo. You can still see downtown on the left hand side of your screen, but it is not crisp and clear uh, like it normally would be. So we've got a caution light for you here this morning for your travel plans because of that air or areas of patchy dense fog going on that'll lift through the morning and we'll see some improving conditions. But as that sun's coming up, make sure your headlights are still on and your taillights still on so folks can see you in those areas of fog. And we do have some areas where it's uh, quite low for visibility. Winter's checking in at zero right now for visibility. And then again in our eastern viewing area, especially Thief River Falls, Roseau, back over toward Bemidji, Park Rapids and Wadena, all reporting visibility less than a mile in these areas. This is where the wind is light or we don't have any wind at all, allowing the temperatures to drop, allowing that air to settle and that fog to form. So visibility is on the lower side in a lot of locations. Also Grafton, I want to point out at a half mile visibility and look at these temperatures, 30s over to the east, upper 30s in places like Wadena, Bemidji, Roseau, Thief River Falls in those upper 30s, some 40s elsewhere, 47 in Fargo and 45 in Grand Forks. Wind speeds calm. In fact, a lot of places reporting that if we do have wind, though, notice the direction. It's starting to turn out of a more southerly direction, and that's going to bring about some change. It's already starting in Devil's Lake. That's where the temperature is a little warmer this morning. We've got a 10 mile per hour southerly wind right now. Radar and satellite looking quiet, looking good here to start off the day today. Just again on that hazy, a foggy side. And looking at your hour by hour planner, you can see that we've got some fog in place. Watch what happens here over the next couple of hours. We're starting things off at seven and these areas of clouds, that's fog. Watch how it just kind of erodes pretty quickly here. The sun starting to warm us up once it's up and uh, it will help to uh, disperse that that uh, cloud cover and we'll end up with some more sunny skies. A little more hazy sunshine, but because of the wildfire smoke still in the valley, but it's not as concentrated as it was. So that's going to kind of disperse more and more here. Looking ahead to the afternoon, we'll see temperatures into the 60s, eventually rising back into the 70s, low to mid 70s coming up for your afternoon high in most areas might still be a little cooler to the east and just in general having some sunshine here today. Now the exception for this evening, there's going to be a system passing by north of us and may dip in just a little bit into the northern valley, bringing a chance for a few showers along with clouds uh, with that as we move into the late night hours tonight and overnight into tomorrow morning. Check out our temperatures tomorrow a lot milder, so we're going to be warming things back up. So today getting into the mid 70s in Fargo for Friday, expect to see temperatures in the 70s to some low 80s, so some mild weather coming our way. And then this weekend, this is when we'll have our next chance for rain Friday night overnight and into Saturday, a spotty shower or two looking at temperatures in the low to mid 70s for highs this weekend. So big difference from the Labor Day weekend 90s, but uh, still not too bad. It is September after all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, September after all, and you know, the seventh too. So we just keep inching closer and closer. Mm, yeah, yeah, but we've got, you know, a lot of nice days in the seven day planner. So, you know, yeah. we're not we're not done with the warmer temperatures yet. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Thank you, Lisa.